shenanigans. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah. And speaking of shenanigans, this is how we kicked off SmackDown. Not in the ring. No. <laughs> Not even backstage. All right. We had the new Daniel Bryan in the concourse of yeah. the arena. Yeah. In the concession stand. And he was slagging off the staff <laughs> about what they were selling. And the fans. Yeah. I gotta admit, as much as I haven't been a big fan of this Daniel Ryan heel turn, I thought, I thought this was pretty funny. Yeah, it was pretty good. Especially when he nicked that guy's hot dog <laughs> and, and threw it at him. God. <laughs> the guy was like, oh, what the hell? A hot dog. Right, you probably got Finley by him. Ten dollars <laughs> by that one. And he stole that dude's soda. He did. Drenched him with it. <laughs> Unfortunately, Daniel was interrupted. Yes. By, of all people, our truth Why? <laughs> well, he, he interrupted Dance Break the other week, didn't he, man? Oh, yeah. You, you don't interrupt Dance Break, allegedly. Yeah, and, and somehow, again, commercial break, and the match gets made official. Mm. Oh, boy, so how's this one ago? Well, it lasted about three minutes. He, he got his ass kicked. Truth. Not, yeah. not, not, not Daniel Bryan. Yeah. And Daniel Bryan picked up the victory. You see, I can't even review this match. It was that short. It was literally, like... Three minutes of Brian just beating him up. Yeah. And then to make matters worse, Styles then came out and beat him up. <laughs> oh, dear. Until security came out and conveniently broke it up again. Mm. And that same bald security guard with the goatee <laughs> made another appearance. And he was like, where were you when Vince McMahon was getting his ribs crushed by Kevin Owens? <laughs> you moved. <laughs> you moved out the way. Right. It'll be SmackDown if we didn't have a tag team match player. Oh, what we got? We've got Andrade Cien Almas and an angry man from the Isle, not from the Isle of Samoa, oh. called Joe. And they face off against Rey Mysterio and <coughs> Mustafa Ali. Oh, wow. Team Cruiserweight. Hmm. Yeah, this was okay. I didn't mind this one. <clears throat> yeah. Although, it still confuses me with Ray's attire. Why has he got that silly mohawk on all of his masks now? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he lost a bet to Seamus? <laughs> and, I, and it's been noted, I did quite like the fact Ray busted out the Canadian Destroyer. Oh, yes. You, you don't see that move very often, so... That was a thing of beauty right there. It's always welcome. R.I.P. Peter Williams. He dead. <laughs> Rare, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's got me there. His career died the moment he aligned himself with Scott Stein. Oh, boy. And his 33.5% chance of winning. No, no, man, you're in Steiner math. You can't do <laughs> Steiner math. <laughs> No. In this match, though, Team Bad won. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Almas and uh, Samoa Joe. <clears throat> yeah, this was Almas picking up the win with his hammerlock DDT. Mm. On Ray. Yeah. Apparently, this may be turning into a little bit of a rivalry between the two Mexican wrestlers. We can dig that. Uh, I'd give them a bit longer, they could go. Yeah. Oh God! Next, we had the United States Champion Rusev in the ring. Yep, and he wanted to uh, have some strong words with Evil Shinsky next about last week when poor Lana got hurt. Yeah, but Nakamura weren't going to be there. Obviously, he was in the back. So Rusev is there. Fine, I'm going to come find you. What did he get for troubles? A big black box oh. shoved into the side of his uh, stomach. Well, I did find funny that Nakamura played the footage, 
And Lana wouldn't have got hurt had Rusev not <laughs> thrown a kick his way. Yeah, there is that. It's like he sort of broke all that down. Yeah. He's like, well, what are you blaming me for? You were the one that injured her. <laughs> all right. You can bloody do this one next. Oh, it's your favourite tag team. Uh, the Smackdown Tag Champions. The Bar. Uh, Facing off against the men from a penitentiary. Uh, and if the Uzos won, they got a future tag team title shot. At the Royal Rumble. Oh, right, okay. At least they were specific. Yeah. So, we're not going to bore you with this one because we had yet another crappy ending. Yeah, pretty much. So, going along with all the random BS we've had for the last few weeks, Mandy Rose came out to cause a distraction claiming she was wearing nothing underneath her towel. That's rubbish. We're in a PG era. So, this has then distracted Jimmy who's on. Get out of here, <laughs> man. <laughs> And he got taken out, and then the bar took advantage of this and took out Jay. Picked up the victory. Yeah. So, and then I think possibly there was a silly little squabble backstage between Mandy Rose and Naomi and Sonya Deville pretending to attempt to punch Naomi at times as well. Yes, this was revealed when um, she took the robe off, and she was dressed all along. Shock horror. Yeah. But yeah, they had a bit of a squabble backstage, and one of the Usos came and broke it up. I don't know which one. Yeah. And then randomly, the Miz came out and challenged the tag champion. Yes. He wants him and Shane to be <clears throat> tag team champions. I got to admit, I did laugh at this point. <laughs> they took like two seconds to think about it. And then Miz got bro kicked in the face. <laughs> he did. And then they said, fine, we accept. So, it's 2019, people, and we've got Shane McMahon challenging for the tag team titles. Yeah, you know how we said like the tag division on Raw is like crap? SmackDown's not making much better of an argument. <laughs> you have real tag teams. Why are we dealing with a makeshift tag team of the Miz and Shane McMahon? I don't know. I've... <laughs> <laughs> no. What would you even call these two? Awesome money? Maybe. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I think you've just come up well, with their name. That's cracked it. <laughs> there you go. Mm. So, moving on to our main event. Oh, oh, that was quick. We've got Triple Threat Match. The winner facing Oscar. At Royal Rumble. Got the man versus the queen versus Mella. <laughs> Mella? Ugh. Yeah. They, they were running promos all night hyping up the match. Hmm. And, uh, no, no, this is actually a rematch of the SummerSlam match. Yes. Yes, it is. Where Becky had the heel turn, which was very quickly abandoned. <laughs> no, this was all right. It actually went a pretty long time for a women's match. What do you mean? Giving people proper time yeah, to do these matches? <laughs> I'd say it was given at least 25 minutes. Okay, fair enough. And it's like, you, you forget, Carmella can actually wrestle. <laughs> When they allow her to. Because you remember, we had all those months where she was like, she was like, oh, no, I'm a heel, so I don't need to throw out all these fancy wrestling moves. And then conveniently, the day she actually started you know, wrestling, she lost the title. Mm. And How were, ironic. And you were like, where have all these moves been for the last four months or so? Yeah. And fans have been complaining that all you do is screech and yell and not do anything. Yeah. I mean, there was some good stuff in this match. There was a natural selection from the top rope. Oof. Looked like it hurt. 
Hello. Now, on all this, call me crazy, but when this match was announced, I was like, you know what, they're going to give it to Carmella. I was leaning more towards Charlotte. Because I thought, you know what, they're going to need them both in the Rumble, aren't they? Yeah. But no, no, they, they surprised me. The man picked up the victory. Yes. Carmella. Tapping out to the disarmor. And I'm immediately thinking, okay, so she's going to be fighting for the title. Does that mean she's not going to be in the room? Maybe. Oh, oh. I've got no idea for some fantasy booking. Oh. I'm going to save it until oh. you get the preview and prediction show. Sorry, folks. Confidential information here. No. Right. You can't be having that. No, that's it. So, yeah, that was how we ended SmackDown. The man has picked up the win. Yeah, she's going to the Rumble, and then Oscar came out and like danced for a bit and yeah. did the whole like, holding the belt thing up. I champion, <laughs> and rather silly. I don't know why they did this, but they were speaking to each other. Becky was talking English, Oscar was talking Japanese, <laughs> and you were like, "What's going on? Neither is going to be understanding the other one." <laughs> Nero knows. When the blue hell evil one is talking about. At this point, it just... Oh, man, you might have even just not bothered. Yeah, pretty much. And that was how we actually in Smoker. Ooh, okay. I don't get it. There you go. There you go. there you go, folks. So, that's all we got time for for this one. From your hosts, the master of the brain damage. Martin. And the one and only Sam H. We'll see you again for the next one. Smackdown! The epic return of the ironic twist. <laughs>